Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorites for the week. My very first favorite is this super cute romper. Okay, there's a little fashion show for you. Um, in the back it crosses like that and it goes down really low and it's super cute. This is the first romper I've ever gotten and I know that kind of rompers are kind of out now. Like, why didn't I get them when they were popular? But anyway, this is not a fashion, I'm not a fashion person at all. I'm a makeup person. So let's get to the makeup. Okay guys, sorry about that. The dogs are going crazy. So first things first, this Mally foundation. I recommended it. Um, it has been sold out, but it's coming back on QVC on Thursday. Hopefully I'm getting this up Wednesday. Um, I do really love this foundation, but before you buy it, I want you to know that any kind of fluid foundation that you're buying in this type of a compact, a compact with, um, you know, one of these little protective things and um, a sponge way of releasing the product, is you're going to have to come against two problems. One, there's not a lot of product in here. The first time I used this, it went on like a dream. Um, it has a lot of coverage. But since then, when I'm applying it, I have to go back again and again with the brush, apply it, go back again. You know, it just, there isn't as much product as there was to begin with. This has 0.34 ounces, and my IT Cosmetics has point like 33. I don't know, it's less than this one but yet a L'Oreal True Match foundation that you can get from the drugstore has one ounce. So that's a huge difference. Um, I'm almost out of this and I don't think I'll repurchase just because, I don't know, I'll have to see what kind of deal they're they running tomorrow. But I do really like this foundation. Is it a bargain? No. Let me, that's, that's just what I want to say about that, okay? I do like it though. Um, on to another product that isn't quite a favorite. I got this as a 100 point perk from Sephora. It is um, a super regenerating oil serum. And I wanted to try out a few different serums and um, give you guys some feedback on that. So, you know, with any kind of skincare, you have to try it for quite a while before you can form an opinion on this. I've used it probably about to right here for like two weeks. Um, and I think what I'm going to do with this is put it in my bin of winter makeup or, you know, skincare things because it is so oily. Okay, this is my problem with an oil serum. You're supposed to put on a serum first and then your moisturizer. But I guess this is supposed to act as both because I don't need a moisturizer after applying this. So if you're kind of like a lazy person, this might be good for you. Two steps in one. But I think I'm going to pull it out in the winter and see what it does for my dry skin because it isn't doing anything special for my oily skin. A product that I've really been loving this month and I took down to Florida with me is my True Match L'Oreal Powder in N6. This is the only powder I have right now that matches me and I just love this powder for two reasons. One, the powder itself is just awesome. Three reasons. Two, the color match is really, really good. You know, with any of these true match things, you can get warm, neutral, or cool. And then the compact itself. I have one in my purse, one at my makeup counter, and I just really love it. It has the, the mirror in there, which I do use sometimes, the sponge tip applicator, and of course the powder itself. Now, when I'm on the road or in the car or wherever, um, I will use the sponge tip applicator, but when I'm at my sink, I'll use my Real Techniques really big fluffy powder brush. And I just really love the way this looks on my skin. Now, everybody is raving about the Naked Basics too, And I was looking at my collection and I was like, do I really need that? And this is what I do when palettes come out. I look and see what I've already got, see if I can just recreate some of the looks that my friends are posting in tutorials. And you know what? I really don't need the Naked Basics the first one or the second one because I have this from Sonia Kashuk. It is the Eyes on Neutral palette. I've had it for quite a while. It's not a new product, but the shadows in here, I think, 
are wonderful quality, they last all day, and they can create some beautiful neutral looks. So I've really been loving this palette today. I'm wearing the Makeup Geek palette because I was filming, but every other day this week I've been creating different looks with this matte palette. And it's really great if you work and you want to be kind of more conservative with your makeup. Um, you know, mattes are the way to go in my opinion. Next thing I want to talk about is this brush by e.l.f. I got this one at a TJ Maxx, so it was actually even cheaper than $3. It was probably like $2.50 or something. But it's the e.l.f. Angled Contour Brush, and I just really love this. It's densely packed, it's teeny tiny, um, but it, it does have an angle on it. I'll have to insert a close-up picture of it. But what I really love is to get into my bronzer. I'm um, doing the Finish 5 by Fall. I have my bronzer just around the edges of that compact now and this really helps me get in there and get that product out and then I can place it right here to make my bottom lip look fatter and I like to contour my nose with this and any little crevice that you would like to add a shadow to um, this brush is perfect and I gotta tell you guys something so funny so my girlfriends that I went to go visit in Florida aren't really like they like to wear makeup but they don't like know about makeup like I do and so I'm sitting there and I've got my bronzer out and my friend Alex looks at me and she's like oh I don't even need to wear bronzer in the summer because I'm like dark and I was like Alex don't you know about contouring and yeah she did not so we got to do a little um I did got to educate her on some contouring and she let me do her and I got to do Shay's eyes and I did Jess's makeup too and let me just say, I'm not that good at a wing, and I'll admit it. I'm, I think I'm good on myself, but like when I did her wings, mm, not good. I'll see if I can insert a picture of that if I don't get too embarrassed. But anyway, let's just say we were not going out after that. She had to, to wash it off. So I saved the best for last. I'm so excited about this product, and I think it's been out for a while, but... Um, it's new to me. This is the John Frieda Luminous Glaze Clear Shine Gloss. Now, when I went to the store, there were like glosses like this in the aisle where you where all the hair dyes were, um, and then there was like one for brown, red, blonde hair, whatever. But then I found this one near the shampoos, and it was clear. And I thought, well, since I don't color my hair, I'll just try this. And I am in love with this. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but whew, it is awesome. I'm going to try this all month because there's two ways you can do it. First way, you just like um, when you're in the shower doing your regular old thing, you put um, a coat on for like three minutes and then wash it off. Go about your business. And then last night what I did was I left it on um, dry hair for 20 minutes. I totally saturated my hair for 20 minutes, then got in the shower, washed it off, and it is, I mean, if you have an event, if you have, you know, something special coming up, that's the way to go. Because I feel like my hair is just super, super shiny, and I really, really love it. I'm going to use it all month and let you guys know what I really think of this product. Maybe do a separate review on it later. I don't know. Give me some feedback in the comments below. But yeah, really, really loving this for super shiny hair. The last thing I wanted to share, Ashley from Texas Mommy of Boys said that she likes to use the top of her candles from Bath & Body Works um, to mix foundation. Well, guess what, Ashley? I like to use mine as coasters. So I have like the tops all around the house so you can just, um, you know, put sweaty cups on it. And uh, yeah, I thought that was something I needed to share with you guys. I don't know. Um, thank you guys so much for watching today, and I'll see you next time. Bye.